Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe at home. Guys, today's video is mainly for beginners, for people who want to start keeping succulents but have no idea where to start from. So kindly watch this video tutorial and it will help you understand what are the basic setup that you require in order to start keeping succulents. Tip number one is pot. Now guys, whenever you're selecting a pot for your succulent, always make sure that your pot has a drain hole. It is very, very important to have a drain hole in your pot because you cannot let your succulent sit in soggy soil for a very long time. Tip number two is soil. Now guys, it's very important to have the right kind of soil in order to grow healthy succulents. Ensure that your soil is well draining, porous and loose. The soil has to be loose because the succulent roots need to breathe and grow. Hence, we have to make sure the soil is very, very loose. Tip number three is selecting the succulent. Now guys, whenever you're going to the nursery to buy succulents, always keep an eye on a succulent that has multiple pups because that's like an added bonus. We all do like some extra succulents. Apart from that guys, make sure that the succulent does not have transparent yellow or soggy leaves. Also keep an eye on those bugs or pests. Overall, just do an examination of the succulent and see if the overall look of the succulent is healthy. Now guys, this is only possible for people who buy the succulents directly from nurseries and not online. Tip number four is placement of succulent. Now guys, ensure that your succulent roots are completely beneath the soil. Also, do not completely fill the pot with soil. Leave some space as you can see in this video. This will help you while watering and will create less mess. Now guys, I personally do not add any kind of top dressing for my succulents because I like to keep it simple and less complicated. This also helps me to see when the soil dries and also creates a good aeration between the stem and the roots. Tip number five and the most important watering. Now guys, you will only water your succulents when your soil is completely dried, which means that it is dried from the upper layer to the bottom layer. Only then you go ahead and start watering your succulents completely. Now guys, when you're watering your succulents, ensure that you do not water on the succulent or on the leaves, ensure that you water only the soil. As you can see in this video, I am just watering the soil with the help of this tube. This is how exactly you have to water. Now guys, because this soil is porous, loose and well draining, you can see within seconds the water has started to leave the pot. This is the exact type of soil you need to have in order to grow healthy succulents. Now you can see this water as well will start draining out in couple of seconds. The purpose over here is we just want to wet the soil and not let the succulent sit in soggy or in a pool of water. Now as I lift up this succulent you can see how quickly the water is leaving the pot. You can see how well draining the soil is. You can see the soil is only wet but there is no water in the pot. This is the type of soil that you need to have in order to grow healthy succulents. Now this is one of the method of watering. You can even do bottom watering. Both these methods are very good for succulents. Tip number six is fertilizer. Now guys, to be honest, I don't use any kind of fertilizers for my succulents, but I do tend to use this pond water. Now guys, there are a couple of fishes in this pond that tend to produce a lot of waste and this waste tends to act like a fertilizer. But guys, this water is not highly nutrient because this water gets replenished every week because I tend to use this water for my other house plants as well. Now during rains as well, this water, the rainwater tends to get collected in this pond and hence it acts it's like a very good source of watering for my succulents but guys if you do not have a pond or if you do not have aquarium tank at home and you want to use some kind of fertilizers i will be making a separate video on fertilizing of succulents because it is a vast topic and cannot be completed in this small video Tip number seven is light. Now guys, light is very, very important in order to grow healthy succulents. If you have enough light, your succulent will stay compact and won't get stretchy or leggy. Now guys, either you can give direct or you can give indirect sunlight. If you're giving direct sunlight, ensure guys, it's only in the form of morning sunlight after acclimation. Now guys, if you only receive afternoon sun, ensure that you're using some kind of a filter. You're either using a green net or you're keeping them in 
shade so that they get only indirect sunlight in the afternoon. Exposing your succulents to afternoon sun could lead to burns which could overall affect the appearance of the succulent. So guys, I hope that this short video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until then, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.